Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to another Deep View tutorial. Today we'll be talking about the Deep View Webby RSI indicator, which is based on Mike Webster's work and his development of this indicator. And what it essentially is, is a representation of where the stock's low is with respect to the 21 exponential moving average at any given time. So let's go ahead and add it to our charts and I'll explain it a little bit more in depth. So just like any indicator here in the chart, what we want to do is go up here, click indicators, type in DV, and then select DV Webby RSI, and you can see it's automatically added below our charts. Xing this out, let's take a look at how it appears right here. As I mentioned, the Webby RSI at any given point is a representation of where the stock's low is relative to the 21 EMA, and it's basically represented in terms of percentage. So here, Looking at the Web RSI, on this day, the QQQ was 6.25% from its 21 EMA, and that's with respect to the low here. And you can see right here, it's barely above the 21 EMA, which is this purple line here. And the Web RSI is showing a value of 0.18% for that day. And if you're below that 21 EMA, as you can see right here, we're below this purple line. Uh, the web RSI is zeroed out um, and has no value. So this is really helpful for determining uh, the extension from this key moving average and whether stock is getting extended in general. So often early on in a stock's move, we will see a rise and extension um, on this web RSI. But as the move matures, what we want to see is slowly the oscillations get smaller and smaller and eventually the stock will peter out and break below that moving average and even start a new base. And this indicator is useful for both individual stocks as well as the market indexes. And you can see that as a part of this indicator, you've got these colored lines, these colored horizontal lines that represent different percentage values. So in between zero and 2%, we've got these two green lines. Then at 4%, we start to get a little bit stretch and it turns yellow. And then above 6%, you can see this horizontal line is red. So. Uh, this is kind of skewed towards uh, the market indexes. As we're getting above this red line, we're definitely getting a little bit short-term extended, and we might see a pullback as we saw right here on the QQQ. Uh, now, it's also worth mentioning that we do have a moving average that kind of smooths out the Web RSI, which can be helpful um, as basically a reference point for this indicator. Uh, so definitely go ahead and make use of that. Now, in order to edit any of the settings of the Web RSI, what you want to do is use the gear icon, give that a click, and you can change the moving average length. You can change the type of moving average. By default, it's a 10-day uh, simple moving average. And you can also change the style right here and also the visibility um, and where you want it to show up, when you want it to show up on different time frames. So that's a quick run through of the Web RSI. Uh, you can also use it, as I mentioned, on individual stocks. So let's bring up AMD, Advanced Micro Devices. And you can see how it reacts to the chart. Uh, right now, we're getting uh, towards the highest end of the Webby RSI. Uh, looking at this, we're about 13 and then 14% above the 21 EMA, which you can see is historically uh, reasonably high. Uh, but you can see that at the beginning of this move, we did get extended. And each of these peaks, you can see, corresponds with an extension from the 21 EMA. So uh, definitely an indicator worth trying out and adding to your rule set uh, if you would like to. And uh, with that, hope you guys enjoy this video. Let me know if you have any questions down below, and I'll see you guys in future tutorials. Take care.